Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I uh, ended up getting a little gain booster for my mic, so it might sound a little bit better this episode, hopefully. I wanted to start the episode over here before we get into some terraforming because I have something to show you. So I've been uh, AFKing the paper farm a bunch, and that means this iron farm's been working constantly, and holy crap. I, I don't think I'm ever going to use all this. Like, I, I have to craft this all in the blocks just to get it back home. I don't even know if I can get it all back home. There's so much iron. I mean, that is just an insane amount of iron. I got, We can literally use them as building blocks now. Like, no joke. So the main objective for this episode, I think, is to move these. Maybe some up here and some down there. I'm not 100% sure yet. I kind of want to build a little barn which I think will be cool. I'm gonna need some mangrove though because I really want to use the red from that and some bricks and whatnot. I'm gonna go try to find a mangrove real quick. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I don't ever remember seeing one, but I'm thinking about just heading in that direction. Nothing like spending an hour to find a biome, but hopefully it's a little quicker than that. I am expecting nothing less from this game. <laughs> what did I just find? This is like 200 blocks away. It's like a little floating village. Like, literally, look at that house. It's floating. I am, while we're out here, gonna grab every bit of clay I can, though. Because I do want to use some bricks. I know we have an okay amount, but probably not enough. We're just gonna grab what we can find. Also, with respiration on this helmet, I can literally stay underwater forever. This new Minecraft update's scary. Like, if you're living on top of that hill, right there, and you had no idea this was here, like, day one, starter base, you just dig down, you're <gasps> dead. I am already two and a half thousand blocks away in the west direction. I see it. Oh, let's go. I, it was tucked behind this jungle. I almost drove right past it. I actually went that way, but I decided to turn around for some reason. I guess it doesn't matter how pretty we leave this place either. I'm not, I'm only going to come back here for wood. It's also nice. I thought you had to have silk touch for mud, but I can just grab a bunch of this for farms too. Nice little resource trip out here today. Oh, we came back with a pretty good loot pile, I would say. I mean, we got all this red mushroom block to work with, all these red logs to work with. A little bit of clay, we're definitely going to have to get some more. What a haul. Nope. I thought that would work. Well, whatever, we're linked up. I wrote down the coordinates here in chat too, so I put these in our book just so we can get back there easily. I spent some time over here clearing out area for a build. We were wanting to move these farms, and I'm thinking about having like a little almost barn here, but it's a little smaller scale, and then all the fields of crops kind of going off where this dips down behind the uh, smoker here. I'm going to fill in this cave. I mean, I don't really think there's much of interest down here. Just to flex our iron supply a little bit, I'm literally going to make a stack of anvils for our enchantment room. <laughs> and if you're wondering what this little mess is behind me here, I made a schematica of a little barn in creative mode and we're going to build it out real quick. Let's just see how it turns out.
there it is, it's finished. It might look a little bit like this, but I kind of like having the same aesthetic between things that are, you know, similar. So this is going to cook our meats from our farm after we get these animals up here. And just to kind of show some of this off a little bit more, I really like how the brick looks with the mangrove and the, these pots connected to the fences. They look pretty sweet. I added another little camp here, even though we have one right there. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to start adding beds all over the world just so we can always sleep. We have three little pens and I did test that the the mob AI for some reason won't jump up on these blocks and try to escape. We're actually good just to hop over here or use the fence gates to get in. Now we just gotta get those mobs over here. I also do really like this textured floor. I got the mangrove roots, the, the path, the coarse dirt, gravel. We have a nice little camp here. This little stop, like street lamp is funny too. I don't know if it's the prettiest, but it's it's funny to me. <laughs> One thing I am changing though is I'm taking this bottom layer of these mushroom blocks and putting in brick, so it's not as insanely red. I think that helps a lot. Yeah, yeah, the red like accent of the roof in here with the brick. I think that looks ten times better. Yeah. It almost feels like an archaeology site. I don't know. We should be good on books for a while now, <laughs> to be honest. I'm trying to get name tags from these guys, and they sell it for so much. And with the help of those villagers, we're going to turn this Protection 3, some mediocre chest plate, into Protection 4, Mending on Breaking 3, for super cheap. And maybe we can get some netherite soon, too. I left three of each and we're gonna bring them up to their pen and get rid of this bad boy. Come on, pals, let's go. And with that, we have all our guys in one little area. Now we're starting to get some big real estate, but I'm gonna clear these trees up there so we can kind of move these farms on the edge of the property, have like a big field instead of just some square little plot. I don't wanna trim down this forest too much so I marked the select trees that I kind of want to save <laughs> with these fence gates. <laughs> now without getting rid of all the trees, we have like a nice little area here. I was thinking of having like basically separate streams. Like two streams, and then we can have carrots on one side, potatoes, and wheat, and it'll just kind of be like a gradient. It'll look really cool. I waited until nighttime to put up these lights, and I'm really liking this farm. That's a, a lot for one episode, so I think that's where we're going to end it today. And uh, if there's anything you guys would like to see or any feedback on this build right behind me, um, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll see you around. Bye.